Okay, to start off, I have this um, background pa background paper here, which is a uh, kind of a rocky texture uh, paper here. I bought it at um, I bought it at a uh, art store, which is quite cheap, and uh, it's secured with uh, two clips, uh, the corner there, and one here, and my phone here because the clip the clip can't reach the uh, the I can't clip the paper on the corner here but it's okay so again I have the two mounting boards here as a base and one to support the back so that, so that the, uh, the background can hang on the back of the uh, scene, scene back of the shot here so yep. it's actually just like that my background just like that so there's nothing much going on uh, now we shall move on to uh, the bottom part of the area here, which I will bring in my I'll bring in my uh, diorama. This is my idea. <laughs> oh, it fell. Okay. So you. First of all, uh, you have to you just have to place uh, where do you want the figure to 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 sit. So uh, based on my uh, previous shot, I have it around somewhere around here. So I will place in here somewhere here, and at the back I will put some uh, broken pieces at the back here. Now you, you have to use your um, imagination to uh, to help you with all this um, placement of the the pieces here. Just watch uh, the future, uh, and you can get some imaginations. Ha! Okay. So let's say this is your this is your set your setup, and you if you're happy with it. Then it's okay. So now next, uh, I'll bring in my SHG Guards uh, Common Rider uh, Zero Nos here, and I will have him to sit somewhere here. I'll just bring in these. So I need the right start in front. Oops. I'll place him somewhere here. Okay. So um. Pose him uh, nicely. We are not uh, try to try to make him more natural as possible because you don't want to make him uh, you know stiff like as a toy itself. Like right? even though it's a toy, but you want to make him more uh, more lively. So you have to pose him. You know, if you want to get some inspirations, maybe you can you can do an online research. Or you can look at the look at the mirror uh, yourself and pose, um, pose. Uh, you yourself pose uh, yourself uh, and see yourself in the mirror, and maybe you can get some ideas on uh, how do you think the character would be sitting down or doing something. So it'd be something like this. Let me take out my uh, camera off my tripod. So it is something like this. Yep. Something like that. Now uh, the reason why I have him uh, holding on to this uh, weapon is because that um, you know while we are sometimes when we are waiting for someone we usually play with our our phones and stuff so or, or things that we, we can use to fidget. So I have him holding on to his weapon so that you know uh I'll be waiting for Janet to arrive. So it'll be something like that. Now um I have this uh, additional lighting coming up from here. Uh but before that I want, just wanna tell you guys that I have one usually I have one lighting here, one I mean one table lamp here and one table lamp right there as you can see. There's one here. Uh which I'm gonna show you uh something later. I mean like now. Okay, so I will switch on my uh, table lamp. Okay, now we have a light coming on. 
mean from that side uh, so I have this uh, kind of purplish uh, light coming here so what I use what I use is this uh, kind of uh, translucent colored uh, paper here plastic here um, you can buy this at you can buy this at I think part, some party stores so what I use what uh, what uh, uh, how do you get the effects that you take this um, plastic here and you place over on the on the light here and back here now you have this kind of effect right here but it's good that uh, you shoot this in the night uh, night time because uh, you can get more of this uh, color effect here not not in the afternoon or the morning or and uh, or the day or any electric lighting uh, interrupts your shot here yep so once you have you once you get what you want uh, all you have to do next is just to play with your angle and uh, yeah basically just play with your angles so what you can do is again try to make try not to make it flat something like this flat but depending on uh, where, where, how, I mean like where is the figure facing or what is he doing and stuff, shit, so it's tough. Why did I say shit? <laughs> okay, um, so previously I have my shot here, I mean my, the, the shot is something, or something like this. Yep. So it's actually something simple that uh, I think most, I guess beginners can do just to buy some paper uh, background paper and have some painted painted uh, tones or, or whatever it is here it's not the best but uh, I try I try my best so yeah actually that is it uh, for the shot here to for me to react egg so I hope uh, anyone of you guys will find this useful so um, Please uh, like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.